Hello and welcome to Inspiration Interviews. I'm your host, Charles Nichols, and you guys know why you are tuned in. Thank you guys for being here, and you guys know why you are watching. It's because we pull the people who make a difference in the community, influencers, and just people who have a great story to tell. So today's guest, man, I am so glad that she was able to come here. She had quite a drive, so I am so grateful that she decided to stop by to see little old me and come on my little old show. So with that being said, man, this is my college friend. We have a lot of great memories together. And right now, she will teach you guys how to charge into the game. Who am I talking about? I'm talking about none other than Kayla. Kabri Ho. Come on down. Come on down. Come on down. One move. So I see what he rather do. <laughs> but I ain't person. Niggas quick to change, they switching lanes and running games and getting mad. I do the same, they pointing fingers, pointing blame, switching up just for the fame, thinking I'ma take the pain. Little baby, charge it to the game. To the game. I never get too comfy. Niggas quick to change, they switching lanes and running games and getting mad. I do the same, they pointing fingers, pointing blame, switching up just for the fame, thinking I'ma take the pain. Little baby, charge it to the game. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you so much. You are here. Yes. You are here. Oh my gosh. Thank you so much for gracing us with your presence. Thank and you for having me. Oh, but, oh man, the pleasure is all mine, man. <laughs> we are about to really dive deep into your story, but you did just charge it to the game. You have dropped a music video and song, Charge It to the Game. Yeah. And I think I saw a familiar face <laughs> in that video, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, you did. <laughs> was that the Terry on Taco that, Mayfield? That was Taco. Oh, man. So Taco was on season one of oh, Inspiration wow. Interviews. So, man, I'm just so glad to see people who have came on the show just intertwine like that. And it, uh, I, I just love seeing that. So, man, we're going to charge it to the game. But right now, I want to ask and dive deep into your story because I know you pretty well. But at the same time, the, I want them to know you as well. So my first question is what and this is kind of a deep one. So what in your past made you um, find your music niche and wanted you to even pursue that, if that makes sense? Ooh. Um, really, I come from a musically inclined family on both sides. So like my dad's side, you know, I grew up in the church. Um, they play piano, they play guitar, drums. So I've always been around it. Um, I have an uncle that actually produced for uh, Three Six Mafia on my mom's side. So I've just, wow. I've always been around. Um, entertainment has always been my thing. But really what got me started, um, hmm. like I said, it's always been my thing. But as far as mm -hmm. rapping, I moved to Memphis in 2019. I met my line sister, Kay. Yes. And at the time, I was not thinking about music. I was <laughs> only dancing. Mm -hmm. And she was like, oh my gosh, because she's a singer. I'm going to the studio for the first time. I want you to go. So I'm like... <laughs> okay <laughs> i'm like okay whatever so i go and you know she's singing i'm chilling because i'm like you know i like the vibe so they take a break and the engineer starts playing beats and he plays this one beat and we look at each other and we're like what you trying to do what you trying to do so it was like a a room full of guys we were like the only two girls in there so they were like what y'all gonna do on the beat rap and so the type of people me and kr we we're like we don't like when people tell us we can't do something oh, so it all started as a joke really and so then you know we recorded this song and we came out from behind where we were and they were looking like run it again let's do it and i was like hold on wait because this was a joke i'm not for real so we let that happen and maybe like three days later we're walking on campus and random people coming up to us like we heard y'all song and we like what you talking about what you talking about willis i'm like ain't no song out. i ain't got no song girl. i'm a dancer i don't do that and they're like no we heard it we heard mo he's on my song uh say so he's the engineer he was like yeah i listen people hear it and i'm like now why would you do that 
So yeah, that's how that's how you know got started, and oh, I've just man. been doing it since. Man, well, I am so grateful that you kept <laughs> with it because your music is fire. Your Thank music you. is hot right now, man. <laughs> so uh, with that being said, like I said, you dropped that video, so let me run some numbers by you. Um, it hasn't even been a month, yeah. and you have about under six hundred likes in. Yeah right under 8,000 views already on Charger to the Game. And that's just one song. Yeah. So man, you are, you, you're, you're great. You're Thank great. Your you. music is great. But just like you said, I, of course, I do know Kay. And I have went to school with you, as I mentioned. So like I said, we have a lot of memories. And one of those memories being, um, let me set the scene for the guys who, or for the people who weren't there. So of course, you guys used to always come around and <laughs> you, Eventually, one of the times y'all came around, y'all came in, and I remember y'all was all excited. Y'all was like, hey, y'all want to hear our new song? I was like, oh, sure. Man, when I tell you, I was expecting some Summer Walker vibe or some Janae Aiko, some type of, oh, hey, she broke my heart, I got it. No. When, I, when, I, when they press play, what what them girls be saying nowadays? It's giving. It's, it's giving. It's giving Glorilla. It was, <laughs> it was giving. It was giving. Definitely like. Bring it back. Yeah, like get, it was. Get the it's, cab. I was like, what is? What yeah, is I wasn't expecting neither when we did it. When we did another song together, like the first one we dropped together as a duo. It's called the Rule Book, and we had a co-worker on the song. So when we went to record it. It wasn't supposed to sound nothing like that. Like, we had something totally different. But by the time we were finished, we were like, hold on now, dude. It's kind of straight. It's kind of doing a little something. We was like, we might as well put it out. So, yeah. like, we, But y'all were the first people to ever hear it. Like, really? Yeah, we had just left the studio oh, and came wow. straight over there. Yeah. Oh, wow. So, well, y'all were the first people to hear I'm it. I'm a part of history. Oh, wow. I knew I was one of the first, one yeah. of the early birds, but I did not know I was the first. Yeah, wow. the first. So, we had just left the studio. Wow. I'm grateful for that experience. Definitely. And I'm so glad that I could pull you back in yeah. for this episode. Um, Yeah. And that was kind of my question about how, where did this style come from? But it seems like you kind of already answered it. Kind of started off as just like, you know, yeah. and y'all <laughs> kind of as a joke. And then um, you said that you you don't like people to tell you what you can't do. So yeah. I guess you just wanted to break that barrier and prove yeah. to y'all selves that y'all could do it, man. Mm -hmm. So man, that is that is that is great, man. Um, so let me get back into my next question. Um, so this is going to be more so kind of related to the people I see how you didn't got into it so breaking into the industry is something that you're trying to do right and so that can be very very difficult um i must know how do you keep yourself motivated about music like what what is your driving force to keep you going Ooh, honestly when i and it's, it's so crazy because i I actually don't listen to a lot of music that's put out today. Mm -hmm. Like, I can't... The only song that I could spit word for word by Glorilla is If and If. That's because it went viral. Yeah, and the other song, I don't know about her. Or, like, anybody else I can't... So, I just... I try to remind myself, like... Not saying they're the artists that are out today aren't good. I just want to be better. Because mm -hmm. they all promote the same thing. So to stay like on top of it and on my A game and stay inspired, I really just take a lot of stuff that I've seen or I've actually been through. Um, so like I use everyday things. Like I, I may be at work and somebody made me bad and I'm like, look, <laughs> this going in a song. You about to get rid of you, on the song. It's gonna be a diss track. <laughs> Look out, get ready for SoundCloud, Apple Music, Spotify. You going on there. <laughs> Man, I gotta make sure. Are we good? Oh, yeah, we we're good. good? Uh, yeah, we're good. I don't want to be on the negative part of a song. No. <laughs> No. But man, so so would you say that's where your style comes from? So that's where like when you're lyric writing, it just comes from your personal experience. So I, I, well, let's let's let's. I played a clip at the beginning as you guys saw. So I can't help but feel like it is kind of more so of the aggressive nature. So is that kind of like a personality thing, or you just got stuff to say? You get knock your chest. Is where does that come from? That's a little bit of both. Cause I've always like. I grew up around a lot of guys. I have a mm. lot of brothers. I only have one sister. It's mm. 13 of us. Uh, so, oh. yeah. <laughs> so, I've always been aggressive. Like, always. Because I had no choice to be. I didn't have a chance to be a girly girl. Like, 
So that it comes from personality and yes, like stuff that they put me through. Cause like, why are you beating up on your sister? Like, why why, oh, why man. are you doing that? Yeah, and it, you can you can never tell from the sweet old voice that you hear. Like, you know, I grew up with thirteen. I grew up. <laughs> yeah, no, nah, yeah, no. Nah, I definitely. Yeah. That's why I said like when I first heard the uh, music, I was expecting definitely something else. But man, uh, you're still here because what it is, it's hot. And at the same time, man, like you're fitting right into what I can see you definitely growing and getting to that level. And I'm not the only person, as I threw out numbers to you earlier, I'm not the only person that thinks so. I mean, you you hot right now. Thank you. So, uh, Charge It to the Game has just dropped. What is Charge It to the Game? Where is that coming from? <laughs> oh, truth be told, y'all. Let me tell y'all. I'll be honest. When I wrote the song and recorded it, I didn't know I was pregnant. So it stemmed from my child's father, if I'm being completely honest. Uh, and uh, yeah. So <laughs> a personal, a personal. Okay, I got you. Yeah, I got you. I'll be honest. It, it stemmed from that. I was like, you know what? Because it, it's no point in trying to, you know, talk to him about it anymore. Because obviously he don't care. So let's... Let's put it in a song since, you know, people listen to music more than they listen to other people actually talk. So I was like, when it drops, somebody gonna hear it and somebody gonna feel it. Man, well, I love just the art of you expressing yourself through your music, man. And I can definitely see that you're passionate about it. So with that being said, man, what do you want your audience to gain from your brand and while they're listening to not only charge it to the game but all of your music um i really want people not even just you know like females or children men to like be you be comfortable in your own skin it don't matter how long it take you to get to where you want to go if it's something you want to do do it like like i said i started late with music so it's just like how old are you now i'm 23 23 i'm 23 too so. i don't know but like i started late you know you hear what makes you feel like you started late Cause I, you know, a lot of people that I've met, they're like, "Oh, I started rapping when I was 15," and I'm like, Shh, "I started when I was like 20." <laughs> I'm like, "I'm behind the game like five years," but that's okay. Like a lot of people think like, "Oh, I started late, so I'm not gonna get anywhere." Like for instance, um, it was some celebrity I was reading up on. They they didn't get their first movie role till they were like. 30 40 yeah. something yeah and they still make a movie so it's just like i want people to be able to realize like you don't have to worry about what society and social media say because social media is a lie and you're gonna be depressed if you watching social media you looking yeah, at all definitely. these people on social media and nine times out of ten what they post is not how they live oh man oh so. man you said it man i even have my experience of being in my fair share in my prime <laughs> My fair share of music videos, I remember like all the money, all the cars, the dude that owned them was standing right there. And as soon as the video shoot was over, he took back all his possessions. He was like, all right, all right, come on, get it all back, get it all back, wrap it up. I was like, oh, oh yeah. yeah. So your comment about just social media in general and just everybody kind of tuned into that world. Yeah, no, I definitely don't think that that would be a wise move to make. Nah. <laughs> but man, so I've been so inspired by your story because the reoccurring thing that I'm getting is you don't care what other people think. And the fact that you, what, let me ask you this. What does it mean to you that all of your work and all of your art is a piece of you and all that what you're writing is experiences is there are we ever gonna see a k brie that doesn't write about that or is it is that your is that what is fueling you really i don't want to like steer away from it because i feel like if i'm not doing what i've been doing mm -hmm then I'm going to lose, not necessarily lose the people that's been there, but they're going to be like, well, you, you're not really sticking to what you yeah. said you about. Mm -hmm. So why would I keep following you? So I feel like that's where a lot of artists go wrong when they try to be something they're not. They're not I don't want to, mm -hmm. you know, I don't want to put these meaningful songs out. And then the next minute I'm talking about god knows what like i don't <laughs> yeah, exactly because then they're gonna be like wait a minute this, this is not this, the same what? yeah exactly. exactly 
when, when you start doing that, because I promise I don't do drugs. So if y'all ever hear a song come out and I'm talking about drugs, y'all know it's a lie, so cut it off. <laughs> man, man. Well, I love to hear that you don't do drugs. And I love to hear that you're going to not steer away from your brand. And I am here to encourage you, of course, not to do so. As I'm not in the industry, but I have talked to people and I have had people who are um, that I have uh, contact with and they do say that it's definitely hard to, oh, yeah. you know, stay on that pathway and for that, they're going to try and pull you which way and this mm -hmm. way, man. So I am so grateful that you have full on intentions and I have no doubt that you will be able to stick mm -hmm. to your brand. Thank you. But man, I have been so, so inspired by your story and I am so excited you stopped by. Thank so of course, thank you for sharing your story, but, but. Here at Inspiration Interviews, you know what we do. You know what we do. Each person that I interview, I got to see a little bit of their talent. So as you <laughs> mentioned earlier, you did have a beautiful baby boy. Yes. What's his name? Corbin. Corbin. So man, I have a beautiful baby boy. Mm -hmm. And I know that the, how old is he now? He's three months. Three months. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But he's big, y'all. He is big for three months. <laughs> oh, wow. So with that being said, I mean, I know how it was. I mean, my son's a year old now, but when I can remember them days just like yesterday. A year. They, they were just yeah, he's a year. You old. <laughs> <laughs> you old. Y'all just had him. <laughs> that can't be right. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I was like a year. Uh uh. That ain't I love right. how we both said we're 23. <laughs> that proves that it doesn't matter what your age actually is, it matters about your lifestyle. Exactly. You, uh, that's hey, a year old. I'm inviting you old. back when Corbin <laughs> is one, okay. just so I can say <laughs> that you're old. <laughs> well, I'll see you in January of next year. <laughs> It's very demanding and I can't help. I know that I had to do so much stuff to engage him even at an early age, like three months, mm -hmm. such as greeting to him. So I know you guys have been eyeing this uh, Dr. Seuss book. I am, or meet, uh, or oh, I am, Sam, I am, and I am Sam I am that's it's not an easy title to say yeah. I am Sam I am Dr. Seuss and this book is here because I know that you have to balance two worlds with rapping and of course catering to your kid mm -hmm. so to see your talent about juggling those two things I would like to know are you comfortable with rapping this book <laughs> can we see that from DK Bree I can try. Ah, oh, I love it. I love it. Cece, don't back down from the challenge. So here. I can try. I'm going to set this up. I'm going to set this up. So I vaguely missed. So everything is pretty much is non-scripted on here. I am very genuine, very authentic. I don't like any stage stuff. So she did know. I said hypothetically. Yeah, if, you did. If there was a chance that I would ask you to do something along these lines. So let me pull up the beat. And I agree, y'all. I agree. Look at this. Look at this. Yeah, she let, agreed. Let me so. be 100% honest. I don't know this book like that. Um, <laughs> I know Dr. Seuss, but I don't know him that well. I mean, you know, well, the you cat know in the hat, you know, uh, I know a little bit about one fish, two fish, red fish, blue fish. I read that one to my son, but this one, I was trying to look up on some stuff. Yeah. I, I can't. Mm -mm. I'm going to be real. I said it was some type of Dr. Seuss book. I thought that. I had cat in the hat. I don't. I got. I said. I don't even know who Sam is, but we about to find out. Yeah, I sure don't know who Sam is. I'm not sure who. Sam is this is. the one that like green eggs and ham? Yes. Okay. I see. I know a little bit of salsa. <laughs> <laughs> I think I'm ready. All right. I ain't, I ain't gonna lie. This will be a five nursery round. <laughs> I just want y'all to know that it's gonna be fat. I'm definitely assuming this is exactly what happens when you're at home with your son. Yes. <laughs> All right, so look, hey, I got the beat right here. I was started. Okay. And so, hey, the show is yours. Uh, uh. Let's go, Dr. Seuss, K. Bree. <laughs> what? Have a long intro. What? Yeah. 
this beat too. <laughs> no way. My name is Sam, I am, I like to eat green eggs and him, I like green eggs and him a lot, but as you see, my friend does not, but he will not eat them, oh snap. <laughs> Y'all, fun fact, I'm going to the studio after this. Hey, you might have to bring the book. <laughs> I might have to take the book and have a little song for you. Man, man. Well, I, I mean, That's I'm fine. already blown <laughs> away from just that right there. I mean, did you see how fast she flipping through the pages, going through them words, man? She has never again read this book. Ever. So, man, I am so grateful for you stopping by and Sharing some of your talent, sharing some of your story, man. Uh, where can they find your music at? Y'all can find me everywhere. Y'all can find me on YouTube, SoundCloud, Spotify, um, Apple Music. Did I say that already? Y'all can find me everywhere. TikTok, if y'all go to Instagram and put the music in y'all story, I'm on there. Snapchat, y'all can get it on there too. Anywhere, really. Oh, just, man. just type it in. Go to Google. Type me in. I guarantee I'm gonna pop up. Oh man, love, love to hear it, <laughs> man. Thank you again. Stopping by, stopping by, man. I am Sam. I am by Dr. Seuss. Period. Thank you. Uh, the beat was from uh, Free Beats on YouTube. I made sure that it was free, so we don't get copyrighted. I don't own the rights. They um, will charge you. They, they will indeed <laughs> charge me. <laughs> Uh, this was posted by um, Red Tinted Faith. So thank you for letting us borrow your beats. Um, I ain't gonna lie, I might, I might hit you up to buy because <laughs> I like that. Hey, see, business is already going on. <laughs> oh man, thank you for that little treat at the end. You're so talented. You're going so many places. I'm so thank glad you. that I could be a part of the journey and uh, inspiration interviews. Thank I think you so wrap. much. Thank you for having me. And thank you guys for joining. I am.